Shalom family, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This is a day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. If you are seeing this place for your first time, my name is Basil. I'm the man God is using to bless us. Welcome, welcome, welcome in the name of Jesus. If you have not yet subscribed to become part of this lovely family, what are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Hallelujah. And don't forget to like this particular prophetic word at the end. You're sharing your blessing someone also in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word title says, Someone is planning to come to your house and disclose this to you. Someone is planning to come to your house and disclose their evil plan. Praise Master Jesus. This particular prophetic word is a preparation. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, when the Spirit of the Lord was about to destroy the Egyptian, a message was sent to the Israelite, hallelujah, that the Spirit of the Lord will pass tonight and destroy. But this is what the, the, the Israelite had to do so that the Spirit of the Lord will be able to identify that this is God's children. Praise Master Jesus. So this particular prophetic word, I saw someone that has been haunting you as Jezebel. I saw someone who made a decree over your life. I saw someone who make a vow. I saw someone who pledge. This particular person hit his hand on his chest and make evil declaration upon your life, saying that there are some areas and levels in life of which you are not going to cross. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Lamentation 3, 37, who is that one that will speak a word upon your life and it come to pass when your God has not spoken? Praise Master Jesus. Then I'm seeing this particular person trying to carry out some dangerous attack over your life. And in the realm of the spirit, this is actually what happened. I saw a reverse. Hallelujah. I saw something going back to sender. I saw a turnaround. A turnaround. And presently right now, there is no way for this person to move forward because the spell this person tried casting on you has been reversed back to sender. And this particular person has no choice. I'm seeing this person going to places upon places for healing, for solutions, seeking for direction because things are not moving on well. A lot of people keep on telling this particular person, go and confess, go and confess, go and confess. Praise Master Jesus. And this person is planning to come to your house to expose, disclose this particular thing of which has been going on. The Bible says, for with the heart one believe with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So whenever somebody walks to you confessing, that means they have feel the pains. They are ready to give or praise Master Jesus. They are ready to repent. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone walking to you confessing all what they have been doing evil to you. And God revealed to redeem. The Lord wants you to prepare your mind. Get ready. Take heart, you will hear a lot of things that will shock you. Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus Christ himself came here on earth for us. If we do not forgive our brothers and sisters, if we do not forgive ourselves, then how do we want God to also forgive us? The Lord wants you to get ready, prepare yourself. Someone will hit your house, someone will come to you, someone will, will open up to you and a public confession. This particular person will confess to you, asking you for mercy. That is actually what has been going on. I know you'll be hurt. I know you'll feel bad. But God is revealing to redeem. Hallelujah. Let it go. Hallelujah. As you forgive this person, there is a dimension of which you're about to step in that will shock you. Praise Master Jesus. As you forgive this person, there is a dimension of which God is about to carry you through in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for each and every one that has hurt us or planned every evil plan against us. May it be revealed back to send up in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the Lord give us the heart of flesh, not the heart of stone, so that whenever anybody stands in front of us, crying and pleading for mercy, may we have that forgiveful heart to let it go and forget and forgive and forget for in Jesus' name. Amen.